Hey guys, what's up? Lingling Ling is back with another video. I am filming the second video of my little series called Chinese Language. And I changed my um, location a little bit. Well, anyways, I just turned my camera around <laughs> because the sun is coming from the other side and I need perfect lighting. Ah! So, yes, yes. Today, I'm going to tell you guys about the three top websites that I like to use to learn Chinese, Mandarin Chinese, of course. The first one is ChinesePod. You've probably heard about it if you have been studying Chinese before. ChinesePod is a massive website with different levels of Chinese and they have some free tools, but most of it you have to pay for now. When I started using it, it was for free, so I did uh, listen to a lot of podcasts and uh, it was great. So they had like three or four words uh, I had to learn in one podcast and they said it once and then I rep uh, repeated it and uh, it's a great way to learn it and they have it in different languages and um, it's just very modern it's very interesting it's like the Chinese uh, books that we get to learn Mandarin Chinese is very like formal and stiff and it's all about food and family and Chinese tradition and culture and it's also very interesting it is indeed but for me now my uh, language level is um, is okay high so I like to learn more about subjects that I know I'm gonna talk about with my Chinese friends um, so here in modern China we're gonna talk about you know things that we talk about abroad as well. I don't talk much about food, so me learning about food is not that important, if you know what I mean. So anyways, I just really like Chinese pot because they have a lot of interesting articles and really good pronunciation as well and a lot of material. But as I said, you have to pay a fee now and uh, I'm not sure how much it is, but I'm gonna put all the links below, of course, so you can check it out. <coughs> Then uh, one of my other favorites, uh, that's the one I'm using uh, right now actually, is called Man Su Zhongwen or Slow Chinese because they have small uh, podcasts or it's on the website but it's also as a podcast and uh, they have the whole writing as well so um, the podcast about different uh, news topics or interesting things, Chinese cultural things but very much about um, topics that are like s things that's going on in Chinese society right now you know like contemporary Chinese um, issues and uh, topics that you talk to Chinese people about so I really like that again because it's something I'm really interested in so for me to read and listen to something that I'm interested in it just makes you know learning so much easier and so much more fun so yeah I really like that website I listen to it a lot and again really good pronunciation and everything then I have the website number three I also used fluent you um, so I haven't used the app yet uh, because there was a free trial but then I couldn't make it work because the Wi-Fi went down of course shocking <laughs> um, but I use the website there they have a blog on their website and the articles there again are really really interesting and uh, I get a lot of my uh, information from there a lot of my content and uh, I love checking it out and again also very modern um, very interesting right now problems and issues in China and what young people are talking about so those are my three favorite websites of course I also want to urge you to um, download the uh, dictionary app called Pleco because Pleco is a lifesaver here <laughs> I really really love it and it can go online as well so if you're outside you can still use it uh, my friend also talked about another dictionary called Hanping which he pretty much he liked a lot so I'm just gonna mention that one if you're not cool with Pleco you can always try out the other one I was trying to download it but then it didn't work out again because of Wi-Fi problems <laughs> so I might have a look at that one afterwards but he was really happy about that one too so yeah you should take a look at these websites and I hope you're gonna learn some more Chinese from this remember all my links uh, in the description box below so you can find them and now my hands are icy so I should probably stop talking I hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope you're having a great day evening wherever you are in the world and I'll see you again very very soon Ling Ling is out See ya and 再见!
拜拜。